I'm sitting here with Jeff Lemire, creator of the ever phenomenal Sweet Tooth. For those of you who have checked out the podcast, you've heard me talk about this a lot. Jeff, welcome. It's welcome. Nice to be here. Thanks. Uh, for those surprisingly not familiar with it, and I say surprising because we talk about this a lot, <laughs> Could you give the folks a little description of what Sweet Tooth is all about? Uh, well, just to sort of boil it down, it's kind of a complicated concept, but it's it's a post-apocalyptic fairy tale kind of adventure story about a little boy with antlers and a, a big guy with guns. <laughs> awesome. When um when I read the first issue, I had just seen the movie The Road the right. day before. Yeah. There's a lot of sort of like carryover bleakness. Yeah, I've, I've read the road, the novel, the road. Yeah. I haven't seen the, the film yet, um, but obviously it's an influence on, uh, along with a lot of other things on, Absolutely. on uh, Absolutely. Sweet Tooth. Um, but yeah, uh, certainly it's a dark story and uh, a bleak one, but I do promise there is light somewhere down the road, so, or well, else and, it wouldn't and, really be worth doing. And that's what it seems like going through the story. It seems like there's some really harsh stuff, but there's always a hint of like, always something. it's going to oh. turn, it's going to turn. Uh, Eventually it will, too. You know, and then um, it'll get really bad again. And then it'll turn. <laughs> And what, what really inspired you to go in this direction? Uh, just, I mean, I had done some, uh, a couple comics at that point that were a little more like, I guess less genre-based, less action-adventure stuff. And I mean, I'm a big fan of, of sci-fi and post-apocalyptic stories and stuff. And I really wanted to just have some fun and do that kind of a story for once, where I could have fight scenes. And <laughs> but you know, ground it all in, in hopefully, you know, a really strong emotion. Core and, and do it, kind of do B movie stuff, but in almost like an art movie kind of execution. <laughs> Absolutely. You have, I think, a, definitely one of the more distinct sort of artistic styles <laughs> that I've seen in a long time. How, how was the process of sort of developing uh, that? Because I sort of imagine like a lot of like junior high art classes and the teacher going, that's not how we do it. No, you know, it's not actually the opposite. I think I started off so tight and so rigid and trying to do things so properly that eventually it just became obvious that it, it was just like a backlash and I just let go and just sort of went crazy. <laughs> awesome. But and it's definitely a process, you know, it's trying to find any, your style, whatever your style is. Sure. It, it takes a lot of many years of imitating people and then, you know, just eventually just boiling it, boiling it down to something that's sort of like handwriting is just second nature to use. And then how how did you make that decision from like, hey, I'm drawing and I really like art and it's clearly a passion, to say, I really want to turn this into a comic. Like, what what um, goes from artist leap to I don't comic think it, artist? That never happened. It was I was always comics. Like right from when I was five years old, that's all I drew was comics. I, it, I never separated writing as just writing or drawing as just drawing. It was always storytelling and comics for me. So I never did. It was never a leap. It was always just there. And what were some of the first? I think comic memories you have, like the first stuff that really oh, I, left an impression. I, first stuff was always the Perez Wolfman Titans and uh, Keith Giffen, Paul Levitt's Legion. Excellent. I'm a big DC nerd, so uh, <laughs> all the old Roy Thomas All-Star Squadrons, and, uh, anything from like any 80s, mid-80s era DC comics really. Or, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Um, is there stuff coming out today that you're excited about? Oh yeah, I read a, really a wide range of stuff, you know, I read a lot of indie stuff, but I still read a lot of superhero stuff, and uh, I'm a big fan of Jeff Johns, I like what he's yep. doing, I'm a big fan of uh, Criminal and Ed Brubaker yeah, stuff, absolutely. Uh, I love Scalped, I love Walking Dead, I, you know, I like a lot of stuff, man. there's a lot of good stuff. And the, going back to Sweet Tooth for a moment, the one of the main characters clearly gets named Sweet Tooth because he loves candy. Yes. Candy favorites? I have no Sweet Tooth at all. Nothing. Yeah. You made a comic about Sweet Tooth. I have a meat tooth, not a sweet tooth. <laughs> And that's More not bacon, a the better. Joke at all. I just enjoy salty, salty things, not sweet things. Um, are there other projects you're working on in addition to Sweet Tooth? Yeah, I'm doing maybe a, some stuff you can give us scoops on. I wish I could. Uh, no, not yet. I'm doing two DC projects. But okay. I can't talk about them yet, but they're just they're just writing gigs right now. Sure. I'm not drawing anything for DC right now, uh, and they're probably going to get announced really soon. I think. Um, 
And I'm doing another big graphic novel for Top Shelf that's sort of... Excellent. I'm kind of juggling Sweet Tooth with trying to plug away at that as well. So. It, it seems to me that the uh, the response has been great. Yeah, it's been really good. The sales have been solid, and I think I, I don't think we're going to get canceled anytime soon. So that's always good <laughs> because it's hard to invest yourself in a story and then not be able to finish it, so I, yeah. I just hope I can get to where I want to go with it. Is it. Does it have a finite amount of issues? Or? I have it plotted out pretty rigidly to about 40 issues right now, okay. but um, having said that, when I started it, it was like 24 issues, so it's growing as I go through it. So I, Which is I, great. It could, could be longer, you know, who knows. Excellent. Thank you so much for coming by today. Yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate the support. Yay.